there and welcome to another product review with Beads Jar. I'm Natalia and today I'm going to be talking about Kumahimo. So we've got Kumahimo discs, we have bobbins, we have books. And before I begin telling you all about these fabulous products, I want to talk about Kumahimo itself. Now what is it? It is the Japanese art of creating braided cord and the meaning of Kumahimo in Japanese is gathered threads. So as you can see from the picture on the braiding disc, this is what one of the braids looks like. It's, um, it's a cord and it's wonderful for stringing necklaces, bracelets, you can even make earrings, all kinds of jewellery from it. Now it has a very rich history. Kumahima cord was first created with finger loop braiding and it was used by the samurai to decorate their armor, their horse's armor, and also as ties on jackets and for the Kumahimo, um, was also used for the kimono. So what you're gonna need to, to make your own braids like this is one of these discs. This is made of firm but flexible, foam plastic and it has 32 notches on it so you'll see that you will be placing your threads through here in all kinds of different weaving techniques to create some beautiful pieces of jewellery from it. And the foam disc is lightweight, it's portable, you can create complex braids using up to 24 threads and you can also add beads to your design. And what you want is a a board or um, a disc that doesn't um, bend easily so it's quite rigid this one because tension is everything on your braiding and you don't want your braiding to be uneven so this beadsmith kumahimo disc is really fabulous you'll also want some of these bobbins so they are made of silicon and you just flip them open like that and then you can put your braids, your ribbons, whatever it is, the, the cord that you're using or the, the braiding material that you're using and it keeps it from getting untangled. Um, so you can, you can use as many of these bobbins as you want but ours come in a pack of two or you can buy them individually. We also have some other Kumahimo discs. These are also by the Beadsmith and this one comes with a handle. So. As you can see, it just makes it easier for you to use. With this one on its own, you're, you're holding it by hand, you, you've got both hands there, but when you've got this one, it has a plastic handle that is inserted into the center hole and just makes it um, more ergonomic to use. Um, and you can see how those little bobbins hang from the different cords that you're using and weaving. Now, the great thing about this Kumi handle Kumihimo disc is you can either get it in the clear. We also do it in another color, which is this lovely purple. It's like a royal purple. So if you're into your colors, then you know you might want to select the one that you prefer. Now, when you're working with Kumihimo, you're also going to need some inspiration, and we have lots of it with our books. And we've got, these are created specially for the beadsmith. So these are the, the beadsmith are the people who make the, the Kumuhimo discs and some of the other accessories. And they've got two beads artists, Kumuhimo artists to create these books. So we've got Rebecca Ann Coombs book. We've also got Ann Dilka's book. So this one is for jewelry designers. So there's inspirational projects to show you lots of different ways that you can work with it. Look at this beautiful floral style necklace with the beads on the front cover. Now she takes you through all of the tools that you're gonna need from the thread through to the end caps and what kind of glues to use um, in here. She's also showing you lots of different braiding techniques and, um, and there are all these different products um, projects should I say. So we've got nine of them there and uh, a very quick and easy simple steps to uh, from starting your braiding off right through to putting your glue on the end and adding your bead caps. And then we have the Kumahimo braiding with beads. So we have more complex projects in here. We've got earrings there, we've got a bracelet with, which is very heavily beaded and then we've got this gorgeous metallic creation there. So this is a different Kumihimo artist's take on things. So you'll see that you get a different, um, different approach here. Lots of different projects too. My favorite one is on page 15 and, um, and that is the twisted chrome necklace. Look at that. It's, uh, it's a superb work of art and well worth the, the effort that it takes to create something like that. So 
I think you'll find that um, if there's Kumahima that you want to get interested in and want to start learning, we have all of the chords, we've got the discs, we have the bobbins and we have the books and the beads for you to make whatever it is that you want to design in Kumahima. So I hope you've enjoyed our product review today. I hope you'll give Kumahimo a try. Do click on the show more section, links which will take you directly to our website and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future reviews and product tutorials. Bye for now.